Concerns from the Human Rights Commissioner have influenced the Christchurch City Council over property valuation deadlines. The City Council has extended the date for residents to object to their new valuations following the Commissioner's interference. Human Rights Commissioner David Rutherford is concerned the valuation change is an additional stress for already strained red zone residents. The latest valuations show property prices have increased in nearly all suburbs, some by up to 43%. Unrepaired earthquake damage to properties was not taken into consideration when the valuations of the city's 165,000 properties took place. The new figures were instead based off property sales. But red zone property owners who've chosen to reject the government's voluntary offer received a shock in the mail when the valuations changed. Christchurch Mayor Leanne Dalzell told the press the council understands how upsetting the new valuations are. She says given the points raised by the Human Rights Commission, the council is extending the date until a week from today. Meanwhile, Kaiapoi Red Zoners Brent and Shirley Carnes are rejecting their valuations. The land was valued at $350,000 before the earthquakes, but under the latest valuation, it's only worth $25,000. It's incredible that the Crown and uh, Quotable Value have come up with this imaginary number which now declares that our land and our properties is only worth $25,000. The family want this to be their last house. They aren't planning to sell any time soon. They say with a valuation of just $25,000, no one would want to pay any more. We paid a lot more than $25,000 to buy here or to live here. Uh, we've invested a huge amount of money into the community and also into building our studio. And we certainly don't believe it's worth $25,000 and subsequently that's why we objected to it.